Hello, everybody, and welcome to worship. It's June 26th. I am so glad to be with you today, sharing this time for worship. It's been a crazy week in my world, but I'm hoping that uh, this time together will be one of peace for all of us, for you, for me, for the whole world. And so we gather together. Hear your call to worship. We are called to be God's people wherever we are followers of Jesus around the globe, united in his saving grace and redeeming love. So let us worship God together. Friends, I invite you to pray with me. Oh Lord, we come before you today with such a mix of feelings, some with hope and desire to celebrate, and some with heavy hearts in need of comfort and restoration. We thank you that we find what we need when we draw near to you. You are ever present, ever loving, and ever faithful. We confess that we are not always these things to each other or to our families or to strangers. We can be distant, unengaged, and cool. We can be judgmental and critical, saying that it comes from a place of care even while it inflicts pain or shame. We don't always have each other's backs, preferring to save our own skins when the chips are down. Forgive us, Lord. Let us not focus on your judgment when we should be seeking to be like you. Instead, let us look to your incredible self-giving love. We have been forgiven much more than we ever deserve. Let us share that generosity with others, believing the best, praying for the best, and striving to love just like you. And we pray these things using the words you taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Hear the good news, friends. If you have made your confession to the Lord with a truly repentant heart, know that your prayers have been heard and that you are forgiven. As God has promised, as far as the east is from the west, that is how far your sins are removed from God's sight. We all have a new beginning, and this is good news indeed. Thanks be to God. 